Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, we will discuss the t-distribution. The t-distribution, just like the standard normal curve, is bell-shaped and unimodal. Okay, so ito yung example ng ating t-distribution. So, it is symmetric about uh, t equals 0. So, ito yung ating t0. So, that means na yung nasa left side ng ating curve is same lang doon sa right side. Okay? However, its variance is greater than 1. So, kung mas mataas yung ating variance, so, ibig sabihin, yung curve natin is mas wide kesa doon sa ating standard normal distribution. Then, at the same time, is mas flat yung ating curve. Okay? Then, bukod pa dun, guys, Yung sa may bandang tail ng ating uh, curves, is sa t-distribution, mas mataas yung kanyang area kesa doon sa ating standard normal distribution. Okay? Then, yung shape, guys, ng ating t-distribution is nakadepende sa ating sample size. Okay? So, as the sample size n becomes larger, yung t-distribution natin is mas nagiging kamuka ng ating standard normal distribution. Okay? So, the t-distribution is used with small samples. Uh, normally, ginagamit natin yan kapag ka yung sample size natin is less than 30 and yung ating population variance is unknown. Okay? So, yung small samples natin taken from the population that is approximately normal. Nakuha guys? So, the t-distribution formula is given by t equals x bar. Ito yung ating sample mean minus the population mean divided by s which is the standard deviation divided by square root of the sample size. Okay, so bukod sa formula ng ating t-distribution, may tinatawag tayong degrees of freedom. So, to find the value in the table of t-critical values, so there is a need to adjust the sample size n by converting it to degrees of freedom. So, ang formula ng ating degrees of freedom is equals to n minus 1, okay, where df is the degrees of freedom, and yung n is yung ating sample size. So, mamaya, uh, ipapakita ko kung paano ba natin kukunin yung ating critical values doon sa ating uh, table ng t-distribution. Okay? So, ito yung ating table of t-critical values. So, make sure guys na meron kayong copy nito bago kayong mag-solve ng problems involving uh, t-distribution. Okay? So, let's have example number 1. A student researcher wants to determine whether the mean score in mathematics of 25 students in grade 8 is significantly different from the average of the school, which is 89. So, the mean and the standard deviation of the scores of the students are 95 and 15 respectively. So, assume 95% confidence level. So, ang main problem natin guys is we want to determine kung yung mean score ba ng ating sample is different or significantly different doon sa uh, average ng ating school. Okay? So, ang first step natin dito guys is we need to identify first yung ating mga given. So, una, we have 25 students. So, that is our N. Okay, next is yung average nung sa school, which is 89. Yan yung ating population mean. Then, yung mean and standard deviation ng ating samples. So, ang sample mean natin, we have 95. And yung standard deviation is 15. Okay, so after natin ma-identify yung mga given natin, um, pwede na natin isolve yung ating degrees of freedom which is equals to n minus 1. Okay, so ang n natin is um, 25. 
minus 1, so ang ating degrees of freedom is equals to 24. Next is yung ating alpha. So as you can see, 95% yung confidence level natin. So ibig sabihin, yung alpha natin is equals to 5% or 0 0.05. Tama? So gamit guys yung ating alpha which is um, 5% or 0 0.05 and degrees of freedom which is 24, pwede nating masolve yung ating uh, critical value. Okay? So, ang critical value natin, guys, is makikita natin doon sa ating table kanina. So, kung babalikan natin yon, ang alpha natin is 0 0.05. So, ang gagamitin natin dito, guys, is yung two tails. Since di naman natin dinivide by 2 yung ating alpha, so, nandito na kagad siya makikita. Okay, 0 0.05. Okay? Then, yung ating na-solve na degrees of freedom is equals to 24. Ito yun. Dito makikita guys sa may, left, uh, sa may first column ng ating table. So, as you can see, na yung area in two tails natin, okay, with 0 0.05 um, alpha and yung degrees of freedom natin is 24, ang area natin is 2.064. Okay? Okay? So, ito ngayon, guys, yung ating uh, critical value. Okay? So, after natin masolve or makita yung ating critical value, next natin is isasolve natin ngayon yung ating test statistics. Okay? So, using the formula mean minus population mean over S over square root of N. Okay? So, ang ating sample mean is equals to 95 minus population mean which is 89 divided by S. So, that is 15 over square root of N which is square root of 25. Okay? So, simplify natin to guys. So, 95 minus 89 that is equals to 6 over 15 Divided by square root of 25. So, that is 15 over 5. Tama? So, 15 divided by 5. That is 6 over 3. Then, 6 divided by 3. So, ang t natin ngayon is equals to positive 2. Okay? So, after natin guys masolve yung ating test is statistic which is equals to 2. Iko-compare natin yan guys doon sa ating critical value which is 2.064. Okay, so balik tayo ngayon guys doon sa ating uh, t-distribution. Okay, so kung igagraph natin yung ating critical value, kung ito yung 0 ng ating t-distribution, yung critical value natin na 2.064 is dito makikita sa bandang right side. Tama? So, kung ito yung ating critical value, uh, itong, itong shaded region natin ngayon, ito ngayon yung ating um, critical region. Okay? So, kung igagraph natin ngayon yung ating na-solve na test statistic, which is 2, so, dito natin ngayon yan makikita guys. Okay? Sa labas ng ating critical region. Okay? So, as you can see, na yung value ng ating uh, test, test statistics o yung ating computed t-value does not fall doon sa ating critical region. So, therefore, na yung ating mean score nung ating grade 8 students is the same lang guys nung ating population mean. Okay? So, ito ngayon yung ating uh, magiging conclusion. Okay? So, just in case guys na yung ating test statistics is nag-fall doon sa ating critical region, so, ang ibig sabihin naman nun na yung ating sample mean is not equal doon sa ating 
population mean or yung ating sample mean is significantly different from the population mean. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba natin ginagamit yung ating um, t-distribution. Okay? So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!